हेलो वंस अगेन वेलकम टू क्लास टेंथ साइंस केमिस्ट्री पार्ट वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन रिएक्शन इन विच हीट इज रिलीज अलॉन्ग विद द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट इज कॉल्ड एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन इट इज हीट इज रिलीज और हीट इज इवोल्ड डेट रिएक्शन इज नोन एज एक्सोथर्मिक रिएक्शन नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स आर दियर लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज बर्निंग ऑफ नेचुरल गैस एक्चुअली दिस नेचुरल गैस द मेन कंपोनेंट ऑफ नेचुरल गैस इज सी एच फोर एंड नेम ऑफ दिस सी एच फोर इज मिथेन मीथेन इज वन हाइड्रोकार्बन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड एम ई टी एच ए एन ई मीथेन वेन दिस बर्न बर्न मीन्स वेन इट रिएक्ट विद द ऑक्सीजन इट फॉर्म कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एच टू ओ एंड हीट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड नेक्स्ट वन द रेस्पिरेशन इन द लोअर क्लासेज वी डिस्कस्ड दट वी आर टेकिंग कार्बोहाइड्रेट कार्बोहाइड्रेट विल डिकम्पोज इन टू द ग्लूकोज एंड देन वेन दिस ग्लूकोज रिएक्ट विद द ऑक्सीजन इट प्रोड्यूस द एनर्जी इन आवर बॉडी दिस ग्लूकोज सी सिक्स एस ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स वेन रिएक्ट विद द ऑक्सीजन इट प्रोड्यूस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड वाटर एंड एनर्जी रिलीज एंड दिस एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस इन द रेस्परेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फंक्शन आवर बॉडी नेक्स्ट वन द डीकम्पोजिशन ऑफ वेजिटेबल मेटर इन टू कम्पोस्ट burning of magnesium ribbon this we have already discussed when magnesium ribbon is burned it burns with the dazzling white flame so energy is released these are the examples of some exothermic reactions opposite to this endothermic reaction reaction in which energy is required or energy is absorbed is known as endothermic reaction we have discussed the decomposition reactions using sunlight these are the examples like silver chloride in the presence of sunlight decomposed to silver and chlorine silver bromide decomposed in the presence of sunlight to give the silver and br2 electrolysis of water that right? when we pass the electricity in the water it will decompose to h2 and o2 we are supplying the heat this is the example of endothermic reaction next one is when solid barium hydroxide is mixed with the solid ammonium chloride an endothermic reaction takes place with the evolution of ammonia it is a double displacement gas evolution reaction double displacement gas evolution reaction right balance chemical equation for this reaction i am giving the hint barium hydroxide try to write its formula yourself plus ammonium chloride when it reacts double displacement reaction is taking place first of all barium chloride and ammonium hydroxide is formed but this ammonium hydroxide is decomposed to give the ammonia and water so i think products are barium chloride ammonia and water write the balanced chemical equation yourself this is endothermic reaction next one is redox reaction actually redox word this is the combination of two words it is r e d this is from reduction and o x is from oxidation it means the reaction in which reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously is called a redox reaction now we will try to understand what is the meaning of oxidation and what the meaning of reduction and what are the differences between these two type of reactions addition of oxygen in any reaction if oxygen is added to any substance then this is called oxidation and opposite to this removal of oxygen is called reduction we can say addition of hydrogen is called reduction and opposite to it removal of hydrogen this is called oxidation addition of an electro negative element this is called oxidation and removal of electro negative element this is called reduction removal of electro positive element this is called oxidation addition of an electro positive element this is called a reduction now guys these terms that is electro negative element and electro positive element 
will discuss in the chapter classification of elements is it clear now next loss of electron is also the oxidation and gain of electron is also the reduction but in your syllabus the detailed of oxidation and reduction is based only this two concepts addition of oxygen is oxidation and removal of oxygen is removal of hydrogen is oxidation and addition of hydrogen is a reduction now take one example like this is copper oxide cuo when react with the h2 it produce cu and h2 now just see what happens this copper oxide is converting into copper so that is oxygen is removed that's why this process is a reduction and we can say copper oxide is reduced and this is hydrogen is converting the water what happens in this case oxygen is added so we can say hydrogen h2 is oxidized is it clear again the substance oxidized and substance reduced is always from the reactant side not from the product side remember it okay now some more terms are there oxidizing agent the substance which is reduced is called oxidizing agent and the substance which is oxidized is called reducing agent now again see this example. in this example copper oxide is reduced to the copper that's why we can say copper oxide is oxidizing agent and hydrogen is oxidized to the water that's why we can say hydrogen is a reducing agent few four terms we are having oxidation reduction oxidizing agent and reducing agent these terms must be clear to you now see one more example this is cu plus o2 when we heat it this will convert into the copper oxide that is when copper is heated its surface coated with the black copper second oxide now you can say which is oxidized and which is reduced in this case copper is converting into a copper oxide oxygen is added that's why we can say copper is oxidized and this o2 o2 is added with this copper and actually this copper is a electropositive element generally metals are electropositive elements and non metals are electronegative elements so we can say this is copper is added sorry oxygen is added with this copper which is electropositive element that's why we can say this is copper is reduced to this one copper oxide <coughs> this example we already discussed now see this zinc oxide when react with the carbon it will convert into zinc and carbon monoxide so you can say carbon is oxidized to co oxidized that is carbon is added with the oxygen and zinc oxide is reduced to zinc from zinc oxide oxygen is removed another example mno2 manganese dioxide remember its name manganese dioxide when react with the hcl it form manganese chloride manganese mn manganese chloride water and cl2 are the products now which is which substance is oxidized and reduced in this reaction we can say hcl is oxidized to cl2 why because from hcl this h is removed removal of hydrogen is oxidation so we can say hcl is oxidized whereas mno2 is reduced to mncl2 mno2 is reduced to mncl2 from this oxygen is removed and removal of oxygen is called a reduction now try yourself this reaction we have discussed two times when a magnesium ribbon burns with the dazzling flame in air and changes into the white substance magnesium oxide is formed is magnesium being oxidized or reduced in this reaction and also give the reason try yourself now some terms are there at the last of this chapter corrosion you are students you are familiar with the term rusting rusting of iron actually this is one of the example of corrosion so what is corrosion when metal is attacked by substances around it such as moisture acid and oxygen then it said to corrode and this process is called corrosion this for example rusting of iron black coating on silver 
now you can see sil silver jewelries are used at our home and if you observe after some time the appearance of the silver jewelry becomes black so what happens in this case so you can say actually this is coated with the silver sulfide silver is coated with the silver sulfide and the silver sulfide is black in color that's why black coating on silver green coating on copper again copper reacts with the carbon dioxide and moisture and oxygen present in the atmosphere and form a layer of copper which is green in color so this is corrosion detail will discuss in the chapter metals and non metals how can you prevent the corrosion very common methods oiling painting greasing alloying that is alloy if we make now what are alloy again we'll discuss in the chapter metals and non metals electroplating galvanization this is the one important term galvanization that is coating of zinc on iron is called galvanization so these are the some methods of prevention of corrosion next and last topic of this chapter is rancidity when fats and oils are oxidized their smell and taste change it is called rancidity now again see at our home some oily substances are prepared and if these oily substances are kept for long time then your mother will say that don't eat these items and if you open that container it smell what happens in this case actually in this this oil which is present in it food item reacts with the oxygen and form some other poisonous substances that's why their smell will change and their taste will change this process is called rancidity now how can we prevent the rancidity actually rancidity is due to the reaction of oil and fat substance with oxygen if we cut this contact that is if oxygen is not in contact of your food item we can prevent this rancidity so it can be prevented by adding antioxidant some antioxidant that is which antioxidants react with the oxygen and they will prevent the oxidation of food items keeping food in air tight containers that is if it uh, container is air tight oxygen will not reach to the food item by flushing bags of chips with an inert gas such as nitrogen now this is a very common example students you eat chips and kurkurees its packet is very big but item is very small that is if you open it some gas is filled in it which is removed and that gas is nitrogen and its purpose is to prevent the oxidation of ions which keep in this now this is your first chapter is completed i hope you have understand again i request you subscribe my channel so that you can directly and easily get my videos thank you